All right, now it's time for the last method in our listing controller, which is destroy. And we want to delete a listing. We want to add a button here in the detailed page that says delete. And when we click on it, we want to delete that particular listing. So let's do this. We want to go to our show component and we already have a link here for edit. We want to create another element under that, which I would use a button. So let's set the type to button. And as the content of this button, I just want to say delete. Then I'm going to copy these classes from the link above and paste it here. And the only thing I want to change here is the green color and set that to red like this. So here we have our delete button. And when we click on it, we want to perform an action. So let's add the click event listener here. And let's say we want to delete a listing. So we will create this function in our script tag. So this is our button, very simple. Let's go back up to the script tag and create our delete listing function. Set this to an arrow function and let's just return a confirm that says, are you sure? And test this out. So back to our website, if I press delete, we can see that pop up and we can either reject or accept it. Now let's go to the terminal and our routes. So we have a delete route right here that goes to forward slash listing and then the ID of that listing. The name of that route is listing.destroy and of course the destroy method in the listing controller is in charge to handle that. So in our delete listing function, we want to submit the request to that destroy route. So instead of this return, I can change this to if, then wrap this whole thing with another set of parentheses and add the curly brackets. So to submit this to a route, we can use the router from inertia view. So make sure it is imported from inertia view tree. Then we want to submit this through a delete request. And this function is looking for a URL and we can use the route function and set this to listing.destroy. And as a second argument, we want to pass down our listing ID. So we have access here to the listing through the props. We just have to save this inside a variable so we can use it down here. So let's say props.listing.id. And that's all we have to do for this function. Now let's go back to our listing controller and die and dump the listing that we have in the parameters. So this one. Now let's test this out. And right now I am looking at listing number four. So if I press delete and OK, we get our listing. And under attributes, we can see the ID is number four and all the other properties. So of course, if we press delete and cancel, then nothing happens. And that is what we want. Now deleting a listing is quite easy. We can just use the delete method on the listing and it will remove it from our database. But since we have images, we want to make sure that we delete the image as well before deleting the listing. So in our destroy method, first, we want to check if our current listing has an image. If so, we want to use the storage facade, specify the disk using the disk method, and then use the delete method, which is looking for a path. So again, we can pass down our listing image. So this is exactly what we did in the update function up here. So if the listing has an image, we will delete that. Otherwise, we would just delete the listing from our database. For that, we can grab the listing and use the delete method. And let's return a redirect to the dashboard after we are done. So we are just going back to the dashboard with a status message saying listing deleted successfully. So let's see if this works. I'm going to delete this test listing by pressing on the delete. If I press cancel, nothing's going to happen. But if I press OK, then we are redirected to the dashboard and we will see a status message when we get to the dashboard controllers in future videos. Back to the home page, you can see we don't have that listing. And if we take a look at our public folder, you can see we don't have that purple image anymore. So everything is working properly. So this was quite easy. And that's all we have to do for deleting a listing. The next step, which we will do in the next video, is authorization and adding middlewares because I can simply delete this listing, which belongs to John. So if I open this listing, I can see these buttons, which I shouldn't because this is not my listing, and I can simply delete it. So we want to prevent these actions, and for that, we will use policies. Let's do that in the next video.